Ladies and gentlemen, it's your old pal, CHH, here today. And if you saw the title of the video, yeah, you saw it. We've got a really cool leprechaun piece, but it's not mine. Now, if you're a fan of this channel, you are no stranger to the one, the only, the legendary John Flesher. He's back again. The first appearance of 2024 on Planet CHH. Yeah, yeah it's been a long time, so. Johnny, Seems how are like, you doing, man? You look you look I'm, good. You look strong. You look healthy, man. How, is everything going good for you? How's your 2024 oh, yeah. been so far? It's been good so far. How about yours? I can't complain. I keep myself too busy, though. You know, I don't know what it is. Like, yeah. I can't I can't relax, Johnny. I've always got to be doing it. So I don't know if you're like that, yeah. too. But I got yeah. to stop and smell the roses sometime and just enjoy yeah. something, you know? Yeah. yeah, I'm always up doing something. So stay yeah. busy. Well, Johnny, listen, man, this is apropos, as they say, because coming up in a few weeks, actually, is uh, St. Patty's Day. Yep. Now, Johnny, I am deathly excited for two things. The St. Patrick's Day Planet Dirty. I'm really excited for that. And number two, the Shamrock Shake. Please tell me you're a Shamrock Shake guy. I've never had it. I Are can't you going to try ice it? ice cream. I, I can't eat ice cream. I'm lactose intolerant. So yeah, but like I have friends that are lactose too, but yeah. they just fight through it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I want to fight through it though. <laughs> I don't know. Are they uh, going to so bring it back though? They brought it back. They brought oh, yeah. it back. They brought it back. So I'm excited. Yeah. So Johnny, obviously you're a big Leprechaun fan, and we're going to look at yeah. this gorgeous piece that you got. Now tell me about before we before we dive in and look at this thing. I didn't know something like this existed. Tell me about yeah. how you became aware of this piece and all, tell me the whole backstory because I yeah. think people really like that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Graven Image FX. You can follow them on Instagram. They have an eBay store. They make Freddy Bust. My part two Freddy's Revenge Bust I showed in an earlier video came from them. And on their Instagram one day, they showed they were doing a leprechaun bust. And I couldn't believe it because there's no leprechaun collectibles out there besides like the figure they brought out for the contest back when the movie came out on vhs the little figure and to see something like this you know i was blown away and i, I had to get it when they put it on sale you know and lonnie mccomb i think the guy's name that makes these graven image fx but you can find them on ebay or instagram you, you, and you, so graven Im, image fx is where we can find them so johnny this is what's so interesting to me and you have been a collector even longer than me so i think you would agree with this leprechaun seems to be the one st the still like the one it's it's almost like the vinnie vincent of of uh horror collectibles like it's just never around you don't yeah, see much of nothing. it no. And Chucky, Chucky broke through a couple years ago. Yeah. It's Trick or Treat Studios. Now it's everywhere. And the crazy yeah. thing is, Johnny, is if Leprechaun came out from something in a big way, it would sell like crazy. I mean, they did Funko yeah. Pops, Johnny. I could never find them. They would be sold out everywhere yeah. I wanted to go find it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I don't really click a lot of the Funko Pops, but I've never really been into them. But like, I know they're supposed to make a figure years ago, and I guess they canceled it. I don't know what happened with it, but there's like nothing out there. Hopefully one day we'll get something. It's it's crazy. The only other figure I can remember, Johnny, was like some. It's like a little statue leprechaun, yeah. and I I think it was like a video store thing, or like you mailed in for it. Do you do you know what that is? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Back on the original VHS tape, Leprechaun One, in the crit, the opening, you know, the the trailers. One of them was for a, a contest, and you would call in and answer a question, and one of the prizes was that little figure. And they made like 200 of them. And it's like four inches tall. And it's, that's the only thing I've ever seen really that was ever made for it. And those right. are like $400 now. But I think that's what you're talking about. But it was, you had to win it through a contest. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I saw it on, yeah. uh, I've seen it online and people, the people that'll have it, it's just like, God, that is so cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Johnny, so this is what we're going to do tonight, guys, because Johnny likes to go above and beyond. I told Johnny, I was like, listen, man, if, if you don't mind, I would love to bring you on the channel and show people this gorgeous leprechaun. And Johnny goes, I'll do you one better. We're not only going to look at leprechaun, we're going to show people more original posters that they don't see every day. And I'm like, that sounds great. Yeah, so Johnny, everything I've collected since 
we did the last video so and that that's even yeah. cooler that yeah. you you compiled everything that you haven't yeah. shown or didn't own yeah. yet so yeah and i think these are some of the best posters that i've showed so hell yeah there's, that's awesome there's one at the very end i haven't shown nobody yet so you'll oh be we get an exclusive <laughs> oh yeah. Johnny, your uh, your Instagram's doing good, man. I'm happy for that. But yeah. let me let's talk about that a little bit later because I know people are already saying, "Come on, let's see the damn leprechaun." Yeah. So, Johnny, if you remember how to flip your camera on yeah, your just phone, yeah, second, I'll flip it. Take your time, guys. This is gonna be a hell of an experience. We're all about to see this leprechaun. This is not many people have. Oh my god! Now let me let me make you uh your image big. That's something you have to do. Yeah. Holy. Uh -huh moly now johnny let me just let me just take this thing in for a second let me just take it in yeah now this is 19 inches tall and about 12 and a half inches wide so it's not little by any means you know it's pretty good it's, size this is a beauty yeah and i guess this is like a resin bust i don't know how they do this stuff but is it kind of what does it feel like kind of like porcelain yeah. glass like it's yeah like... yeah if you dropped it it would bust but it's like it weighs probably about 10 pounds and it's like a resin material holy crap now johnny this has got to be at least in the top 10 of any collectible you have now yeah it's like i said i love the leprechaun and at least the first four that's the ones i grew up watching and to finally have something like this then in the back you've got his pot of gold is it just kind of like um, a one solid piece? Like, you know what I'm saying? Can you pull coins well, out or is it, it kind of like a... No, it's one solid piece. But uh, the base is wood, a real wooden piece. And then it's got like a resin floor. And then the leprechaun, the separate piece he glued on there. And uh, the pot's glued on there. But it's all, it's just one piece. I'm just, I'm, I'm take, I'm at a loss for words at this thing. Now, Johnny, does he, is this taken sometimes these artists will kind of like uh screen capture a moment from a movie and try yeah. to base this off of, do you know if this was somewhat based off of like an image from a film or you just think this is an artist well, interpretation? Well, I remember in part two, he comes out of the tree, I think, and he has that bottle in his hand. So maybe it's from part two. I'm not really sure. I just, I, 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 I this is gorgeous. But I mean, I've seen a few custom leprechaun pieces, but they don't really look right they don't to look, me. But I think this is perfect. That, that's Warwick. Yeah, that's Warwick. Yeah. And originally, you know, I like the first four movies. I think Warwick is about the only one that can play him. But when they did that Leprechaun Returns, which they ignored all the sequels, I thought that guy did a really good job. Lyndon Lyndon Porco is his name. Great, yeah, yeah. he did a great job. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, and I guess they're gonna make a new one or reboot it, from what I hear. So I don't know what that'll be like. But. Johnny, let's get a close up on. Uh, let's see those hands. I want to see the hands on him. The detail yeah, he's got on the there. claws. You gotta be kidding me, Johnny! Like I swear, look at the veins. Yeah. Son of a gun! I'm sure was... they air. The airbrush this, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's see the hat. I yeah. want to get a close up on everything for people. The hat looks yeah. great. Yeah. You got this green hat. What color? Let's see his yeah. eyes. What's his eyes look? Yeah, like? the eyes oh. are blue. I don't know what color his eyes were in the movie, but you know what? I'm look, Johnny. I'm looking at my TV right now because I pulled up the movie, uh, just the, the Blu-ray for the just the sake of a. Uh, hold it right there. Don't don't uh don't move it. But I want to show people something. I'm not just saying this. I actually uh. I think I accidentally kicked Johnny out. There he is. So, Johnny, I actually pulled up the movie just to have it in the background for this, and those are yeah. blue eyes. That's a picture of Warwick. So those yeah. eyes that you have, dude, those eyes are, uh, that's him. Yeah. And he's got those big brows, those big hook yeah. eyebrows. Yeah. It's him. You know, it's spot on. Like and I said, the Freddy they did, it's spot on to Robert England. So, yeah, and it, they're sharp, too the claws and everything i, I just I, i'm at a loss for this this is incredible because yeah. it's like johnny even when i would see uh, what's he got on his shirt he's got his little uh his, he's old got his little gold talus gold thing and, yeah. yeah 
Oh my god. With the back of it, and he's got his green sock in the back of it there. Look at that. Got his long hair too. I always I always yeah. forget sometimes that he has long hair. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think it gets longer in the later movies, the hood movies, but I just I'm at a loss for and do they put anything just curious on the bottle? Is there any kind of writing or are we No, there's nothing that I could see on the bottle, no. Look at that. Just a bottle. So I mean, I mean, I, I ain't got a, I ain't got a single criticism about this thing. I mean, no, me neither. It's perfect. Oh man, I, I gotta say, Johnny, uh, I wasn't even expecting it to be this nice. I knew it was nice, but just seeing yeah. it now, I mean, it's gorgeous. Yeah. And you said it's nineteen yeah. inches. Yeah, it's nineteen inches tall by twelve and a half from side to side. So you would say that that's probably, it's probably like a, uh, it's a little bit more than a one six scale because obviously Warwick yeah, is a little six, person. Yeah. But I think they say it's like a half scale, but I don't know that because Warwick's probably what four foot or something like that. And this isn't two foot exactly. So yeah, I'd I'm say it sure. probably is half scale, which yeah. honestly, that sounds great size wise for it to be a half. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. So how big of a box did this thing have to have? And tell me about how it was packaged, because I think people are trying to understand, like, well, w would wonder, yeah. I would wonder how it's packaged, you yeah. know? Well, they don't come in any kind of, like, art box, like you would get from, like, a company, because these are all one of a kind. But uh, they just comes in a Home Depot box, and it's just bubble wrap really good. Tons of bubble wrap, so it don't get busted, and then they ship at UPS. Now, when it when it comes to great say the name of the company again so people can know it's graven image fx graven image fx now johnny is yep. this a, a with some of these companies there's a company called scareware where he doesn't yep. take orders he makes stuff and he goes who and wants then, it yeah yeah is this the same thing no he sells on ebay i mean you can go on there and he's got a bunch of different stuff and you can just order it and then it takes a couple months and then you get it so i mean the stuff's not he doesn't make it and then put it up and it's whoever can get it first, you know. Right, right. But I think is that the guy that makes the leprechaun like one to one scale head? There's a I, I, think I it you know what? Be. I believe it is. Yeah. Ah oh, man, I swear that is a gorgeous piece. Let me see if that is him. I know I follow him. Yeah. Graven image. Okay. Um wow. Scary. Yeah, Scareware, I think, is the one that makes the the leprechaun bust, the, the head. You're right, because I don't see it on yeah. here. But, I mean, Johnny, just looking at the photos of the other stuff he does, yeah. it's, breath, it's breathtaking. Just absolutely breathtaking. Um, yeah, his Cenobites from Hellraiser yeah. are just out of this yeah. world. Have, have you ever had yeah. an idea about maybe getting one of those? Not those. I like the pumpkin head he makes. Right, I, I saw that, yeah. too. Yeah, and then I've got, like I said, that Freddy's Revenge. And I think that's the best Freddy out of all of them. So. I, I agree. I came close a time or two to getting that, Johnny. Yeah. I came close. So, Johnny, uh, I got to give this on a 10 scale. I got to give it the uh, the old perfect 10. Yeah, oh, me too. Like I said, you, there's not much to compare it with collectability-wise for Leprechaun. So, to have something like this. You know, it's not little, like four or five inches. This thing is a big piece, so. Oh, man, what a beauty, man. So, guys, if you have any questions about it, um, drop it down below and I'll let Johnny. Johnny will look at the comments if, he, if something he can answer that I can't. But, yeah, Graven Image FX is uh, yeah. the company. We'll, we'll make sure we put them over so people can yeah. know to look them up. So. Yeah, because you can see the pictures on their eBay, but seeing one in person like this, you know, you can get an idea what it looks like. Finish. And, and it, He's got razor teeth, right? He got some sharp teeth. Yeah, they're sharp teeth, sharp claws. God almighty. It's even better when you get close to it. Like you can really yeah. see the detail on his face. Yeah, I'll be a lot son of a gun. Right. He looks good. Uh, this is a real treat for people, Johnny, for uh, Lepre St. Patrick's Day come up. I just think this is a uh, per you got it perfect yeah. timing. So you had to order yeah. this months ago. Yeah, I think I ordered it around October, November. 
Oh man, that yeah, must be excruciating. It. I got it in like January, I think. But yeah, I don't care to wait. Everything's got a waiting game now. You pre-order stuff, so yeah. Well, Johnny, I I gotta say, man, this is incredible. Thank you for sharing it with me and my audience. Huge, giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.